Hello and welcome to the Naked Englishman video. This is the second of this new little series of videos that I'm recording and the idea is to record one occasionally and I know you've had one fairly recently and that was a test one. Well this is the second one which is more like a proper one. So here am I this time up at Harriet's place and I've taken my little camera and uh, Harriet is lurking. <laughs> she doesn't want to be seen. I don't know why. Lola, Lola, do you want to be seen? Come here, come here, Lola, come here. I show you Lola because somebody said it would be lovely to see little Lola. Oh, there she is. Look, little Lola. How are you, Lola? <laughs> yeah, Lola's fine, thank you. Yeah, all right, thank you. Yes, all right. Silly dog. So, um, been away for the weekend. Uh, we've got the bank holiday tomorrow. So Saturday and Sunday, just an overnight with some of Harriet's friends and um, I've not met them before. Harriet know, has known these friends from her time at university and over the, we've been together something like seven years now, Harriet and I, and uh, only just met some of her dearest friends. And we were talking about this on the way back and she said, you know, sometimes it's quite nice to meet people much further down the line than all at once and that's something I agree with. So we had a lovely time. They live in Herefordshire on um, a farm effectively. Um, the, the chap owns the farm and sort of leases it out to tenant farmers. I think he's got two farms um, which his family, I mean he's sort of inherited and uh, but very generous chap and his wife um, and then two other friends who were also very delightful and Harriet m meets up with them as a sort of uni, reuni, reunion thing, any, whatever you call them. Well, having gone to an old comprehensive, I don't do anything like that um, because I never went to that sort of extra educational system and, and made friends in that, in that sort of world. So I've missed out there. So it's very nice for me to see Harriet in her environment being relaxed and, and basically having a lovely time and um, enjoying the friendships which she's had for years and as I say they get together uh, at least once a year and then occasionally separately. We didn't take Lola unfortunately, do you want to go down on the floor? Go on, you go on the floor. We didn't take Lola because they had two dogs themselves and sometimes Lola can be a bit weird with other dogs and so it was just a better thing and, and actually as much as we love Lola um, it was a, it just worked out we didn't have to worry about her. Had some delicious food, uh, all home cooked which was marvellous um, and very uh, appreciative. Um, some beautiful hams the, today and had a wonderful meal yesterday. I can't, are you still there Lo uh, Harriet? Uh, yeah. Oh, what was the, what meal did we have the other day? Uh, yesterday. Uh, yes, yesterday. You had chicken Oh yes, that's right. It was a chicken and cream and mushroom sauce with, with this, this, what was the um, sweet potato and beetroot. That was a brilliant combination. Very good. Um, and then some salady stuff and all the rest of it. So that was very nice. And, and a vegetarian kind of nut loaf thing, which was delicious. And Harriet's got the recipe and we're going to try it out maybe tomorrow. We'll see how we feel. Um, so that was all very good and very nice um, and I went for a walk this morning, got up early and went for a walk around the lane, the little tiny sort of little narrow lanes um, around Herefordshire uh, towards Hereford. Uh, and not that I got that far because it, it's about, I don't know, six or seven miles from Hereford I think, something like that. And um, But it was, yeah, it was very nice, very relaxing. I didn't take any work. I was, took a book which I read on there patio which overlooked this beautiful countryside. It's right in the country in the middle of nowhere with these little rivers. Um, I think the river is the river something which is a tributary of the river Y. Is it the river Y? Hey on Y, yes that's it. It's, off, it's a tributary of the river Y so yeah. you know. Um, and one of the chaps is very interested in country matters and we went um, otter looking, searching, otter, what do you call it? Hunting. Otter. Hunting. Otter. 
otter hunting, that's what we did. Uh, we didn't find any otters, but we did see two kingfishers. Now, I couldn't tell you what a kingfisher looks like from Adam, but he spotted them and he went, oh look, there, there's a, can you see it? There's a kingfisher, just there. So I went, oh yes, yes, I, yes, very nice. And then there was another one on another branch. He said, look, look, there's another one next to it. And I went, oh yeah, I couldn't, I didn't, couldn't see them bloody at all. Um, and I was going, oh yeah, very nice. Then I saw this blue smudge. I think these, gla um, these glasses are a bit blurry, so um, they're not pin sharp. He's obviously got very sharp eyes. He could see them clearly. And so he was very excited about that. But we did look for the otters and we didn't see them. We found this funny old bridge. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to put this up, but if I put this up in the normal way on a, on a link, which I do, I'll put a picture of the bridge because um, it was an unusual bridge that spanned the river. It was sort of um, a wire bridge with slats hanging by a wire, bouncy, a suspension, a sort of a primitive suspension bridge. So it was, you know, really interesting. Um, so that would be good. I'll try and put the picture up there. I mean, I could edit the picture in, actually. I just thought I can do that, can't I? Yeah, see? <laughs> and I may have done it, because I don't know. I'm doing this on the fly. This is all a new uh, experiment for me, um, although this is the second, so this should be the more fully developed version, but um, it's not terribly fully developed. Anyway, I know that video is um, slower for me to upload and is more um, time consuming and all the rest of it, so I just wanted to do something uh, to say hello, show you Lola, which we've done. She is now uh, asleep. I don't know, let's have a look. Uh, where is she? No, she's not that side. Is she? She's on the... Oh yeah, there she is, look. There she is, on the bed. I, actually, I think I can zoom in. Oh, I can't tilt, though. I can't tilt. All right, well, uh, that's it. I'll do an audio Naked Englishman next time, so you don't have to put up with looking at me. And um, thanks very much for watching, and I hope this has played OK. I know that somebody said, I think it was Helen who said it, I can't get it to play, it keeps stuttering, and I apologise for that. But for those of you who have put the thumbs up for having a video, here is a video, and I'll try and be a bit more adventurous with the videos. I've got some other little things that I'm working on, which I should tell you about soon. Um, I'm waiting for a sp special gadget, which um, I'm waiting for it to come out, and then th th these videos will be even more adventurous. You know, you'll have to wait for that. So, thank you very much for watching. This is The Naked Englishman here, Richard Vobes, The Audio Diary of My Life on, and I didn't tell you any of this at the beginning, did I? It's the 28th of May, and I'm recording this at 5.12. So until the next time, goodbye for now.